Hi, my name is Ruby Selvage. I use she, her pronouns, and I am the Assistant Community Coordinator of Ford Hall. So right now we are currently in a Ford Hall two by two room. So what that means is it is a room connected by a bathroom to another room. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the important things to know about each room space. So starting off, we're gonna talk about the Synexus machine. So the Synexus machine is something really great that is gonna be in every single room. And so it helps to fight viruses, bacteria, and odors. And it also attacks microbes that are in the air and on surfaces. So the most important thing to remember is just to keep this plugged in and there's a switch on the side and make sure that is on so that it can do its thing to help keep everything out of the air. Hi y'all, I'm Colin Hansen. I'm the new assistant community coordinator over in Goodnow Hall. And I wanna show you guys the closets here that you guys are provided here in Ford Hall. Um, so each closet will have a waste bin as well as a recycling bin for those recyclable items. And then also feel free to put up a tension rod maybe and then like a curtain for some added privacy if you so desire. Another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is sprinkler heads. So if you have an exposed sprinkler head in your guys' dorm room, we ask that you do not hang anything from the sprinkler heads just so that we don't have any maintenance issues with that. Hey there y'all, my name is Chaz Robinson. I use he, him, his pronouns. And I'm the community coordinator over in Moore Hall. As you can see here, this is our HVAC unit that you're gonna have in each of your resident rooms. This is a very important piece of machinery because this is our centralized heating and air conditioning system. We ask that you please do not put anything within three feet of the HVAC unit because it can stop anything and it can stop the air conditioning from dispersing throughout the whole room. We also ask that you please don't put any items on top of the HVAC. And this is the thermostat where you're gonna control the HVAC unit from. On this thermostat, you're gonna be able to change it from heating to air conditioning as well. We do ask that if for whatever reason your air conditioning is not working, you please submit a work order through the app. But don't worry, we're going to explain how to use that application later on in the video. Hi, my name is Liv. I use she, her pronouns. I'm the Assistant Community Coordinator for Moore Hall. And today I'm so excited to kind of highlight a bit of the furniture that you'd be expecting whenever you move in this year. As you can see here, the beds are bunked. Um, in some rooms they may be bunked like this, in others they may not. It just depends. Um, and so something that you can do whenever you move in, after you check in, um, and get your keys and stuff, you are able to submit work orders, which would go directly to our maintenance staff in the building, which they can go to your room and de-loft or loft the bed as you please. We also will have multiple individuals in the building as well that are going around the different floors with mallets in hand, and their job is to also help loft and de-loft beds as necessary. So you may be curious if you'd be able to bring LED lights on campus whenever you move in in the fall, and the answer to that is absolutely you can. Our only ask is that you try to avoid purchasing LED lights that have adhesive on the back of it already, just because that is damaging to the walls that we have in the dorm halls. So we ask that you try to find an alternative way to hang them up, like the command strips or command hooks. Shortly after you check in, we'll kindly ask you to complete a room condition check. And really what that means is that you would go to your dorm room, you would uh, access a link through your student portal. Um, you go to the check-in form and at the very bottom on that check-in list, you'll find a link that shows that it's the room condition check. You'll go into your room, you'll check the different furniture items that are in your room, the walls, ceiling and floors. There's a list on there that tells you uh, different things to look for. And you, if you see any damage, this is the spot that you would uh, take note of that. Um, this step is absolutely important for you because this keeps us from charging you for any damage that's found in the room. Hi y'all, it's Colin Hansen again, and I just want to bring you guys a couple tips to make sure that your check-in process is super smooth. Number one, it's really important that you guys arrive on time at your check-in appointment. Uh, we have a lot of people checking in, and so it's just really important that you're punctual with that. Number two, try to bring only the essentials, that way you're maximizing space and you're just being very efficient with that. Number three, Feel free to bring a friend or a guest. That way you're not trying to unload and unpack by yourself. We encourage that. Uh, and number four, try to bring everything that you can that is absolutely necessary so that you're not trying to shop on move-in weekend because it does get a little bit crazy here in Manhattan. With that being said, we are super, super excited for you guys to be here and go Cats.